year I made a video on how to install Android Lollipop on Samsung Galaxy S2 and that has over 100k views. So I'll be telling you how to install Android Marshmallow that is Cyanogen Mod 13 on your Samsung Galaxy S2. So let's get started. So firstly, your phone must be rooted with the custom kernel or recovery installed. So if you don't know what rooting is and custom recovery is then just go ahead and google and research it. If your phone is running on Android Ice Cream Sandwich then you can see my video on how to root Samsung Galaxy S2 given in the link the given in the description below and you have to download all these four files and the CyanogenMod file you have to go to the CyanogenMod website and download the latest version. The download links will be given in the description below. Now hold your power key, home key and volume up key all at once. Till that time you see the your logo appearing and sorry my phone's battery was running out so I had to charge it. Now you'll be booted to CWM recovery. If you are on top recovery already then you don't need to do this step. Now search for the folder where you have the files downloaded. It's in my downloads folder and there will be a file called TWRP flashable. So go ahead and flash that file. It hit your volume buffers to navigate and the power button to select and it will take a few seconds. Now go to advanced and then reboot recovery or you can do it manually just by the same process I showed you. This time you will be booted to top recovery. Now go ahead and in hit on install and browse for the folder and this time select this file called launch on repeat. This download link will be again in the description and flash it by sliding that arrow out there and it will show a failed message so don't worry. Please just go to home again go to install now click on upper level two times. And, and then there will be a folder called TMP. Go ahead and open that. And you will find a launch on repeat over there also. Go ahead and flash that file. And it will take some time like about 10 minutes. So please wait for that. Please be patient. After that is done, go ahead and hit on home again. And this time go to wipe. And slide it to wipe your phone, whole phone. So I should have mentioned this before but since I'm late but I'm still telling you that you need to make a backup so many things might be deleted in this process so it's better you have made a backup from before of all the files. Now you have to open the folder again where you had the files and this time select CM13 the actual ROM itself. and hit on flash again. After that is done, go to install and now flash bank g app so that you get the google apps and the google play store and other apps. After that is done, hit on wipe cache slash dalvik and slide it again so that it takes a factory reset and hit on hit reboot system. So basically this will just install the android marshmallow rom on your phone and you are good to go and it will take some time to reboot for the first time and this time you will see a change in the boot animation if you were on the stock and it will be showing you the cyanogen mod boot animation which looks quite cool. Now it will be initializing your apps and load them android is starting.
once that is done you have to go through the setup procedure select your language and fill in your email address connect to wi-fi and all that so you know basically what to do over here so i'll just show you in brief you can also restore the backup if you have made it previously but i like to start it up as a new device and on next and that's it you're done you're running on android 6.0.1 Marshmallow and your Samsung Galaxy S2. Yup, the 2011 model supports the 2015 edition of Android. And now to prove it's Marshmallow, I'll be playing the Android Easter game. And by the way, don't forget to join me in my live stream tomorrow, that is 3rd of September at 6 pm Indian Standard Time. You can ask whatever you want, or we can have some fun together live. So don't forget to join me tomorrow. And that's it, you are done. You're running on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So thanks for watching, hope this video will help you, please like it if it helped or else dislike. If you have any questions then please comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, hasta la vista.